then you land on something that I don't think anybody really talks about as much as they should, and that is images. Yes. Film is a visual medium, and sometimes people think it's a word medium, and so they overwrite dialogue, and they get very much on the nose. They have a message that they hammer away. And in film, you can do an image very, very quickly. So, uh, you know, in one second, you get an image. Yeah. I mean, you learn to be a visual thinker, and that is something you can learn. I spent two years in graduate school doing visual thinking exercises to learn to think in images. The mind can interpret the vision visual way faster than it can through dialogue. So it takes longer for the mind to understand what the dialogue is going on. And as, as well, especially if there is um, voiceover in the beginning of a film to kind of explain a world, you, you mentioned how, well, you should just be showing the world. Many times the idea is to start your movie with an image that immediately brings us into it. And now these can become the cliche, you know, Paris Eiffel Tower. Right. And you might decide to try something a little different, but you want that immediate sense of, oh, now I know where I am. I'm oriented and you don't have to talk about it. Right. Um, voiceovers tend to do that a lot. I, I generally don't like them. I think they're a crutch, but there are times that they are very effective. And so that's one of the things you learn is when do I use that? And when do I just really think through my images more directly? One thing I always think about when it comes to voiceover, and you actually mentioned this in the book, and I thought it was great, was, you know, you're establishing that world. And if you have to use voiceover, and you use the example of Lord of the Rings. And I thought that was brilliant because in Lord of the Rings, they introduce you through a foreign language and you go, so right away, you already know you're in a whole different world and a whole different land with a new language. And I'm like, I didn't even interpret that watching the film, but now seeing you analyze it that way, it makes total sense. 